BDP Industries is a premier filtration supplier with over 25 years of experience and hundreds of installations throughout the world. Since 1971, BDP has aggressively pursued design and manufacturing enhancements throughout our entire product lines to meet and exceed the demanding needs of our customers. We've become known as one of the most modern and complete solids dewatering suppliers in the world by building a reputation of quality, performance, and service. Our most popular products include gravity belt thickeners for wastewater applications, belt presses for wastewater applications, belt presses for minerals applications, pulp and paper stock thickeners, rotary drum thickeners, and screw presses. This product video will present the company's DDP belt press. This model is designed for municipal wastewater treatment plants with influent capacity of 1 million gallons per day or less. Oakley, Utah is a prime example. The plant, built in 2003 and designed to handle the waste effluent of a small town with a population of 1,200, expected to grow to 3,000 by around the year 2020. The plant is an MBR treatment process. Initially, a bag dewatering system was installed to dewater the waste solids. In 2006, the city replaced the bag system with the DDP belt press seen here. We had a bagging system and we just couldn't get the product dry and we couldn't get enough sludge out the door and so we was having to unload the bags before they were fully dewatered. And so it created a mess and a, there was a backache to try to get everything out the door. And this has just simplified the operation here greatly. I uh, haven't had a problem getting rid of it. It's met the requirements of the landfill. It's been great for the town to be able to get rid of this sludge and to have the, the performance we've got out of the belt press. Most of the dewatering options for small plants, such as Oakley, don't achieve adequate cake solids for commercial landfills and the filtrate is very dirty. The model DDP is designed around proven belt press technology. Features that clients have found beneficial, yielding excellent performance and durability, are the upflow overflow weir feed distributor, an independent drive gravity zone, the Excelsior plow, a curved wedge zone, the vertical pressure zone with four pressure rolls, and a perforated first roll. Small plants have issues unique from larger plants that had to be addressed in the model DDP design. The press is often in the same room as digestion, making the atmosphere corrosive and the available footprint small. The press is often only operated a few hours each week. Oakley only operates the press for six to seven hours every three weeks, so the press sits idle and unattended, making corrosion even more of an issue. Another problem aspect of small plants is financial. Funding to upgrade the plant is often difficult to obtain. Employing a contractor to install the system is also a problematic endeavor. To cope with these realities, the Model DDP incorporates some very unique features. The Model DDP is shipped on a skid, with all wiring and plumbing between accessories, like the feed pump and polymer system, already completed in BDP's shop. All that needs to be completed in the field are the connections to feed and filtrate and providing electrical power to the system control panel. We basically set it up in about four weekends and during the winter of uh, 2006. And uh, four weekends, it probably might have been uh, all 32 hours. And I wired, I, I wired a lot of the stuff myself and uh, I had an electrician do all the termination on the, on the connections. So it, it, was, uh, it, was easy to, it was easy to set up too. Other features designed for small plants are stainless steel construction, stainless steel rolls, pneumatic tracking, pneumatic tensioning, pneumatic control,
Uniform slurry distribution is critical to long belt life and uniform pressure application to the cake in the pressure zone. As you can see, the upflow overflow weir design provides very uniform distribution. The gravity zone has a separate filter belt drive from the pressure zone. This allows independent belt speed control for both zones. In the gravity zone, suspended solids are being deposited on the filter cloth as filtrate flows through the cloth. Therefore, cake thickness is increasing down the length of the gravity zone. The increasing cake thickness causes an increased resistance to filtrate flow and slows the filtration rate. Operating at an increased belt speed spreads the slurry over more belt area. This produces a higher rate of filtration by reducing the effective cake thickness and thereby achieves a greater thickening in the gravity zone. In the pressure zone, the cake has been formed and no additional filtrate will be expelled unless squeezed out by pressure. In the subsequent pressure zone, the longer the cake is under pressure, the drier the cake. In the pressure zone, the belt speed needs to be as slow as possible to maximize the time under pressure, resulting in high discharge cake solids. Waste solids flow rates are lower for small plants, requiring less filtration area. Because the model DDP has a wide effective belt width of 0.9 meters, coupled with an independent pressure zone drive, the number of rolls in the pressure zone can be reduced to four and still provide adequate filtration area and time under pressure, thereby saving manufacturing costs while not lowering discharge cake solids. A key feature of the vertical arrangement of the rolls in the pressure zone is filtrate diversion pans between all rolls that keep expressed filtrate from falling onto adjacent rolls. As you can see, filtrate is diverted around adjacent rolls and falls into the bottom collection pan. With conventional horizontal arrangements, diversion pans are not possible. Therefore, filtrate runs along the filter cloth between rolls where it is reabsorbed back into the cake. This happens because when the cake is not under pressure between rolls, it typically expands like a sponge and reabsorbs any filtrate that comes in contact with it. The pressure drive and the gravity drive are great to be able to adjust up and down to, uh, stay, keep, to keep track of the, the changes in the sludge. Plows are used to enhance filter performance by displacing deposited solids from the surface of the cloth, allowing filtrate to flow through without having the added resistance of the filter cake. Typical furrowing plows create exposed filter cloth by aligning cake into furrowed rows. The BDP plow design does not create furrows. The plow is actually submerged below the surface of the slurry. When lifted out of the slurry, the plow appears somewhat like an airplane wing. The wing floats on the surface of the filter cloth, forcing the sludge to flow over the top of the wing, exposing filter cloth on the bottom side for the full width of the belt press. The bottom of the wing has a recessed area that is supported by the leading edge of the wing. This recessed area on the bottom provides an area with no cake for filtrate to flow through the filter cloth. This is over twice the exposed filter cloth area versus a typical furrowing plow design. With most wedge zone layouts, the belt paths are straight, forming a triangle configuration when viewed from the side. If the wedge entry distance between belts is one inch and the operating cake thickness 3 8 inch, the belts don't converge and place pressure on the cake until two thirds of the overall length Therefore, two-thirds of the zone is ineffective. As you can see from this side view of the model DDP, the belt path is curved by means of a curved support deck design. Now, this forces the two belts to converge immediately, placing expressive pressure on the filter cake. As a result, the entire length of the wedge zone is effective at placing pressure on the cake, reducing cake extrusion. A perforated roll lets filtrate exit both sides of the cake, therefore the belt press capacity is enhanced. 
In other belt presses, a perforated roll is usually more expensive and therefore not provided. BDP's model DDP includes a perforated first roll. To avoid any corrosion issues from often sitting idle and in a very corrosive atmosphere, the frame is constructed of stainless steel. To keep costs down, the press is only made in one width, 0.9 meters, and is fabricated in production runs of three to six units. Bearings are a new design by Dodge, incorporating a plastic housing and stainless steel race and bearing. This eliminates all risk of corrosion. Rolls are stainless steel, including the journal, end plate, and shell. I've had zero maintenance. All I've done is greased and uh, changed the oil in the gearboxes, and that's, that was just according to the, the owner's manual. It said to run it so many hours and drain them and refill them, and that's all I've had to do. The stainless steel construction's a plus. Again, I got to stress the being able to adjust up and down with the with the sludge as it as it changes, the nature of the sludge changes has been really great. It's uh, it makes it a lot easier to uh, adjust to the conditions. Cleanups 30 minutes at the most, and it cleans up nice and uh, no problem there either. Since most plants have a compressor, the Model DDP features pneumatic tracking and tensioning to help reduce capital and operating costs. As you can see, the tracking system is very rugged. The pneumatic tensioning is also rugged. Nothing in its construction is compromised. On-off and pressure regulator controls are provided for all three belts. It's nice to have it close to the ground where you can operate it. I was at another plant and I checked out a different type of press. I don't know what, it, off the top of my head, I don't know what type it was. But one, one thing I know is first thing, it hadn't been maintained very well and, and also it was up fairly high and it looked like it'd be difficult to get to. I like being low to the, closer to the ground and be able to get to it. So it's been, a, it's been nice not having to have a catwalk or anything to get to it. I've been impressed enough that I work for a water company in Park City full-time. I just have this, this uh, treatment plant here part-time. But uh, we're gonna, we needed a belt press at our uh, clarifying unit in uh, Park City, and we are going to uh, call BDP, and we're gonna have them install basically the same type of press in our treatment plant. So it's a press be enough, we're gonna buy another one.